One of the major challenges in diagnosis uh, in diagnosing uh, neurobeshet disease is when uh, the person does not have the full-blown Bechet's disease, which is a systemic inflammatory disease with neurological manifestations, um, and the person only has the neurological manifestations early on, and that makes the diagnosis more difficult, more challenging. Uh, the other challenge, I, I think, is when, um, and also it depends on which geographical area we are in, where possibly where Bechet's is not so common as in the uh, areas of high, uh, higher prevalence. Um, when somebody uh, has the manifestations that could be Bechet's disease, but what's important is to distinguish it from other systemic inflammatory diseases, uh, and when there, is, there are no associated systemic inflammatory features from multiple sclerosis. So the recently uh, pro uh, proposed international consensus uh, recommendations uh, were put together by a consensus group. I was part of it, and uh, that was led by Dr. Ala Raji uh, from the UK. Uh, and um, so again, um, the definite, clinically definite Bechet's, neuro Bechet's disease is quite simple because it's when uh, somebody has the known diagnosis of Bechet's disease according to the international criteria that were set up for Bechet's disease, but has the typical as expected neurological manifestations and the um, uh, imaging to confirm it. So when you have all these three, you have, um, it's, it's quite straightforward the diagnosis of uh, clinically definite uh, neuro Bechet's. When some of these are missing, or the atypical, in particular, the imaging features, or some of the clinical manifestations are not typical of what we typically see in uh, neuro Bechet's disease, then, then we go into probable uh, Bechet's disease, and then we need additional either time or additional ancillary tests to confirm or disconfirm. The management is variable. It's a systemic inflammatory disease. Sometimes it's self-contained, sometimes it's very severe, life-threatening. So the management is adjusted to the level of severity, the level of neurological involvement, which typically uh, indicates a more severe disease. Um, there have been, uh, so one of the greatest advances recently in the diagnosis is the use of anti-TNF agents in the management of systemic Bechet's disease, but also that has also led to uh, improvement in the management of um, neuro uh, The other thing that's very important for neuro Bechet's disease is that one of the drugs that um, uh, is widely used for, um, for systemic Bechet's disease, cyclosporine, is not indicated for neuro disease, and it also has to be used with caution when system or when neuro disease is um, is suspected, because it can make the diagnosis, it can um, accelerate neuro disease, it can make it worse, or at least uh, it may not be effective in treating that. So.